I was going to do a countdown. I didn't. Good morning, everyone. Let's see. It's coffee and tea. Good morning, everyone. Carrie, Mama Beth. Hi, guys. Everyone. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There we go. Rookie. It's been so long. We're doing rookie mistakes over here. Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming in. I feel like I'm um, doing my first show ever. <laughs> anyway, I just thought I'd come in. I say hi to everybody. I don't know how long we'll stay on. We'll chit chat a little bit, talk about a few things. And uh, hey, Tommy, how are you? Good morning, honey. Hope you and Destiny and family are well. Um, so yeah, so I just thought I'd catch everybody up and kind of tell you where I stand with everything in my YouTube channel and whatnot and all that fun stuff and reselling and eBay and Poshmark Macari. Christopher, my friend, Alba Chad is in the chat. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you, honey. So yeah, so I figured... Last broadcast from the store was about a month ago, and this will be the last broadcast from my current home. Good, good. Made me jump. What do you mean I made you jump? <laughs> Didn't mean to make you jump, Carrie. I'm glad to, that you're here. Welcome. Um, Rob's here, too. Guess what Rob's doing? Oh, happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Rob's making corned beef and cabbage. Um, yeah, so... Um, lots of things going on. So it's cooking a little, he's cooking a little early today. Um, we've had a very, very productive, I guess is the word, um, few months. Um, I've emptied the entire store. I vacated the store. Hi, Ashley. Nice to see you. Yes, Christopher. Yum. And, um, the store is empty. Store is vacant. It's been re-rented. All that's behind us. We're so happy. I've been to Mississippi with the high van twice. Um, oh, surprise me. My volume was way up. Hi, Adam. Welcome. Oh, you're welcome, sweetheart. Guys, follow each other in the chat. Adam's got a great talk show he does all the time. Um, Tommy and Destiny, I'm not sure uh, the bargain effects if you guys are doing much YouTube these days, but Perry Winkle, nice to see you. Follow one another. Um, even follow our friend I Buy Chit. You never know. Christopher Christopher could come on live one day. And Christopher sells some great stuff on eBay, if you guys don't know. Check him out on Instagram, too, because he's always posting amazing stuff he flips. Um, but anyway, so the store is gone. It's behind us. Um, we went two times to see our lady Jumbug in Mississippi. She's bought out a lot of my um, inventory, um, including Pam flipping hot finds and a few others. I'm sorry if I can't think of people off the top of my head who really did some, we do, do some working lives and Des has a couple of shows a week. Awesome. I'll have to stop by. It's been it's always crazy. You know, once you're a content creator and once you get involved in other things, it's like, yes, happy, happy St. Patrick's Day, Adam and everyone again. Um, it's kind of crazy to stop in at everybody's life, but I have been trying as much as possible, especially with myself cutting back. So for those of you that don't know where you've kind of fallen off the face of the earth for the last couple of months, um, Courtney Bolo Buddies and myself convinced Donna to start whatnot. It's probably a year ago now. God, it's like time flies so slowly but surely. <laughs> um, we don't do lives here anymore. Um, she's kind of embraced whatnot completely. Jay, hello, my friend. Good to see you. Uh, you're up early. Thank you for stopping in. So she's kind of married herself over to whatnot. And I, you know, still do my record shows. In fact, I have one at 2.30 today. I've been doing them on Sundays, just trying to purge the last of my um, records from the New York City DJ that I had gotten. Um, so I'll be doing that at 2.30 today. And then um, I had been back in New York this past month for about 10 days. I have a new grandson, second second grandson for us. My 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 youngest had their first baby, and their it's baby boy Mason, Mason Anthony, Bookstaver, and um, we had his christening on two Sundays ago, I guess it is now. And then, if you don't know or you haven't heard, um, 
even though we've been and we love it here where we are in our home in Little River, South Carolina, we are moving again because my dad has decided to give up his 56 and a half year old home <laughs> on Long Island and come and live with us. So unfortunately, this house isn't conducive for three adults um, of us. And um, we are going to um, venture down to a town called Somerville, South Carolina, where no family was before. We moved down here and then my aunt and uncle came and their son and daughter and their families came. So they're all living down there. It's about two hours and 45 minutes from where we are here. Um, it's near the Charleston area. So that's, we bought a home. We closed April 7th and um, we sold our home. And my dad sold his home. So we, that's where we're going. And that will be um, a very crazy time again for us. So I've kind of stepped back a little bit in the reselling. Um, but what we did do, which we hadn't done, my mom was actually gone six years, March 10th, uh, March 6th. Um, and we hadn't gone through any of her personal jewelry and some other stuff. And um, I did do my first whatnot show last, I want to say Thursday night. I can't remember now um, with some of hers and my aunt, my aunt who um, was the realtor when I was a mortgage broker and we had the business together. She had some really nice, both estate costume and um, precious metal jewelry. And when she passed, I was the executrix and she left me a lot of her jewelry. I'd so sold some of it here. I also, my other aunts um, who passed, I've been very lucky that I've, I've gotten um, some of their jewelry as well. So I had a jewelry show on Thursday. I'm going to put another whatnot up today for probably this coming Thursday, if anybody likes jewelry. Um, and then I'm not leaving YouTube selling completely, but I won't be selling any more on YouTube until I get settled in the new home after April 7th. So, you know, probably mid to end of April, maybe I'll do, I'll do my first show back here on YouTube. And I, and I do apologize also that I have not done follow up to my murder mystery shows. If anybody's following me with that, um, again, it, life has just been getting in the way. It was crazy. Like I said, we were 10 days in New York and we, what we really were doing was packing my dad to try to get him to purge 56 and a half years of contents of a four bedroom, two bath home with a garage and an attic and two sheds and pot hoarder. It, it's crazy. So we really were spending a lot of time doing that. And um, it was a challenge to say the least. If any of you have elderly parents or have ever moved anybody um, or tried to help people downsize, it's not easy. I'm actually thankful that we've only been in this house four years because when we left Long Island and we sold that house and came here, we purged so much. Like I didn't even take furniture except for the uh, Alice in Wonderland clock you see behind me and some a living room curio and some other furniture, nothing crazy. Like we bought our bed. We didn't even buy a bedroom set really here, but two nightstands off the Facebook marketplace and um, a headboard. My dad had a queen size one for my spare bedroom and the king size one is actually from him as well because he um, has a queen size bed, but took my aunt's furniture who was moving in with him before she passed away. It's a whole other long story. If you guys I don't want to bore you with all that nonsense, but anyway, um, I'm actually doing that right now. Three realtors are going to be at my mom and dad's house tomorrow morning. And we're going to have to have an option, have an option or an estate sale. I think she meant auction. <laughs> I know mama Beth, it's crazy. And then it's so hard to get them to part from anything. That's the biggest thing. Um, my father, and Rob could tell you some stories for sure. Rob is just shaking his head. Um, between the twist ties, the containers, um, step stools, like we're going to have an area in my garage. That's going to say step stool area because he had like three or four of them. And we have three or four of them because we had two here and two at the store. And I'm like, dad, you don't even have to bring them. Don't bring them. 
Now he wants to, oh, but this one's good, and this one does this, and this one does that. I hear, I hear every explanation about why. So I'm going to kind of do a joke, and I'm going to put a sign up in the garage step stool area and have all of these ladders and step stools there, and then we're going to sell them because I'm not, I can't. I can't have eight step stools and two ladders. I just can't. Not to mention a hand truck and everything else. So, hi, how are you, Robert? Bra Robert Check, welcome. And um, yes, so that has been a crazy thing. Um, Wonder Bread twist ties. I can't even tell you back from when in bags and bags and bags, and then um, tools. Like, my father's 85. He's going to be 86 this year. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Robichick. So, um, this, it's, um, build a step stool towel. Good morning, Pam. How are you, sweetheart? Welcome in, flipping hot vines. Um, and, Oh no. Oh shoot. I hit the wrong thing. Darn it. Shoot. All right. I have to fix that. I have to definitely fix it. All right. I hit the wrong thing. Mama Beth, I'm sorry. Oh my God. I just got rid of Mama Beth by accident. Bear with me one second, guys. I'm so sorry. Okay. All right, I think we're okay now. I'm so sorry. We have some troll over on Twitch. I don't always, um, I don't always think that I accidentally banned bands Mama Beth. Mama Beth, I'm gonna fix it. I'm so sorry. That was such an accident. <laughs> Tease blocking. Beware, right? So yeah, and if you guys are familiar with the larger containers that come in, like. Um, cashews and peanuts and stuff like that when you go to like bj's and costco and you get the larger uh plastic jugs so his whole garage besides tools is filled with nuts and bolts and screws and all of this stuff and he i didn't see anything happen oh good mama beth all right i don't know what happened i don't know what happened maybe i i don't know i hit the wrong thing it, it was just weird. I was trying to, I was trying to get rid of somebody over on Twitch. Oh, you lost your wrench. All right, let me fix it. Gianna. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? Good to see you. All right. Let me, um, let me give mama Beth her wrench back. That's the first thing. Um, and as a moderator, all right, there you go, Mama, Mama Beth. Mama Beth, I actually made you a moderator. Adam, you lost your wrench too. Let me fix that. All right. All right. And let me save that. So Gianna, yes, she feels truly feels my pain. Um, she says Greg and I did the exact thing with my father and law a year and a half ago. I know it's crazy. Um, because they don't want to purge anything, right? They don't want to get rid of anything. And it's so crazy that um, the stuff he wants to keep. We had the mover come while we were there. And he's walking the mover through the house. And the one thing with the mover, he's a friend of my cousin who actually lives here. But he lives in Massapequa Park where we're from because him and, him and my cousin went to school together. And um, they actually went to college together, I think. So he opened his own moving company. And he came over to see what dad had and we want him to save a little bit of room on the truck so he can load my father in Massapequa Park, drive to Little River and then drive on to Somerville. So we don't want my father putting too much stuff on the truck, obviously. And I don't need a lot. Like I need the clock behind me. I need the curio. I need um, the living room couch, the couple of end tables and the beds, the headboards and the three side dressers. I don't even have bedroom furniture per se. Oh, and my 
I did pick up while I was here, a beautiful, beautiful roll top desk. So that's really, and a, and a few wicker pieces for outdoors and stuff like that, but nothing crazy. Like we're not even taking like rakes and, and lawn furniture or anything like that because the community that we're going to finally, not unlike this community, even though it's a 55 and over, the community we're going to, they do the bushes, they do the lawns, they do all of that. So that's a good thing. So he's walking the mover through the house and we get to the garage and my father used to, um, my father's very smart. If you guys don't know, he had to forego a, um, a full ride to MIT when he was 17 because his father passed away and he had two sisters and a mother and he had to go to work. That's just what you do in 1950, whatever that was, 50, maybe 1950. I don't even know. He was born in 1938. So figure that out. 1955, right? I don't know. Anyway, my math's not good today. <laughs> um, one of the things he did um, was he fixed radios and TVs and, and all electronics on the side. So our garage was kind of set up like a workshop and he had tube testers and oscilloscopes and soldering irons and all kinds of, you know, things like that. Um, but he doesn't want to part with all of that stuff. And, you know, resistors, transistors, we bu built, him and I actually built the first TV and computer um, together. Um, I was soldering resistors on a, on a board when I was about eight, nine years old. I don't even remember what year it was. Um, but that was what he did. And um, a lot of that stuff today is really just very antiquated. Some people buy it for... Uh, what do you call, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Just display, I guess. And some people buy it um, if it's a specific, like a tester or something, because there is still a little bit of call for it, but not crazy. I mean, I've sold a few instruments I, and I sold actually one, a couple, I think one on my YouTube auction, but he sent us home with a van full which I don't even know, but I'm not even going to list or bring to auction or anything until we get settled in the new house. I just can't. I just, it, there's just too much going on and, and just, I just don't have time to pack and ship, which brings me to my other uh, thing. Guys, if I owe you an invoice, if I owe you items, if you haven't fit, hit $40, I've made this announcement before, I'm going to get to you before I leave the house and I'm just going to invoice you and ship you your items once you pay. If you don't want it because you haven't spent $40 yet, then I'm going to just have to resell it because I'm just not going to move it. I'm sorry. Um, but And then when we get back up and running at the end of April, then we'll figure out you know, how we're going to do things moving forward. Um, but yeah, that's where... Let me just say hi to a few more people. I saw a peek in. I saw... A, uh, Katap, Gary, how are you? I hope you're well. How's things going? Let me know. Doreen. Hi, Doreen. Yes, packing up a hoarder house is rough. My mother-in-law had tons of containers and 60 giant tubs worth of fabric. Wow. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it works to your favor if you can resell some of that stuff, which fabric I know is pretty decent. BCP, what's going on, bum crack? Nice to see you. Thanks for coming in. I hope all is well. Thank you, thank you. My mother, I think she means my mother and not New York another. My mother had nine brand new rock crock pots hidden in the basement. I still ask why, right? Kevin, hi, Kevin. Good morning, good morning. Happy St. Patrick's Day. There's the girl. Hi, Destiny. Good to see you, honey. Welcome, welcome. Yes, Kevin, I did. We did. We um, we closed on April 7th. I'll give you a sneak peek of that in just a minute. Hi, Gail. How are you, sweetie? Good to see you. Welcome in. Welcome in. Um, so, yes, we did. We, we bought in a town called Somerville. Um, I can actually probably show you pictures. And if you guys haven't seen my, um, the close of the store that I did, I think I put some pictures out there as well. Actually, there's a picture up there of the front of the house. Um, 
so it's in a nice community. It's a true gated community. I always laugh. The gated community here is just a gate. This one has a, a guard and a guard shack and the whole thing, which is so much nicer. It's And our pool here is kind of like the YMCA pool as compared to this is like a huge indoor pool, huge outdoor pool. It's got um, indoor gym. We have a gym here. We have like two treadmills and three bicycles. This one has about 50. <laughs> Um, there's 30 stocked ponds. It's catch and release, but my father's also a fisherman. So we're not bringing one pole. We're bringing 16 of them, not one tackle box, but four of them. Oh, and, um, believe me, it was, it was, I had to pick and choose my battles. I definitely had to pick and choose my battles. Hi, Mary Ness. Hi, sweetheart. Good to see you. Hope you're well. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. Uh, Mary, where is your wrench? I haven't been on in a while, so some of you may have or unsubscribed or what, or YouTube has unsubscribed you because that happens sometimes too. All right, there you go, sweetheart. Um, so, and, and Beth, I have not forgotten about your team t-shirt either. I, um, I, I will get that out to you and get you. I know, I think I sent you your other box. I know I go, oh, you an invoice. I'll get it out. I know you're good for it. <laughs> um, I'm glad to hear that, Mary. Thank you. Um, so yeah, um, let me, let me do this. All right, here we, here we go. Uh, can I do it this way? Let's see, what's the best way to do it? All right, so there it is, guys. It's really pretty. Of course, they make it look prettier than it is. Um, but let me see if I can figure this out. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, so they take care of all the grounds, which is really nice. And we got a nice back sunroom. It doesn't have a screened in patio, which a lot of the ones we looked at did. We may think about adding one. Um, this is like a front sitting room soon to be AKA my father's train room, because we, one of the reasons why we were looking for a specific house with room was he wanted the train room. This is the dining room. This is the kitchen. It's actually very similar to the kitchen I had back on Long Island. We went from one extreme to another. We came here to downsize and now cause dad's come and we've upgraded again. Um, and, um, it's got a, it's got a nice size kitchen. It's got a nice size pantry. Here's the uh, living room, dinette side, and the sunroom in the back. Um, this nice sunroom with uh, hurricane. I don't know what they call them. Hurricane? No, not hurricane shades. They have. There's a name for these. So I can't remember what they're called. Now this is going to be painted. The purple's pretty scary. This is the guest bathroom and the guest bedroom. This is the master. And, um, you know, this looks green, but the walls are actually powder blue. The, the, the realtor who took pictures here really did not do a good job. Guest bedroom, again, it's purple, not pink. The pictures just look horrible, but this is, we're going to paint this. Um, and every be bedroom, which is nice, does have a bath and it has a laundry room with some nice uh, things. This is going to be my dad's room. It's almost like a second master. It's a pretty big room. So he's actually got like one side of the house and then we got the other. And then the only thing we're going to do here is in the bathroom that we got. Um, it's got these, these bathrooms, these newer bathrooms. Here's the garage, nice big size garage with some built-in shelves. And uh, yeah, so that's it. And uh, we're really happy. Oh my goodness, look who's here. Good morning, good morning. So uh, that's that's um, that's the story there. Good morning, my girl. What's going on? How are you? Happy, happy day. Susan, good morning. Um, and uh, she's actually made her presence on YouTube, guys. Stand by. <laughs> and... Hi, Jennifer. Good morning, sweetheart. Good to see you. Um, we, um, we close on the seventh. So that's, that's what's going on there. And, um, what else? He, you know, like I said, he's, he's, it's just been tough. We spent 10 days in New York trying to pack them. He's in good shape. He has 21 boxes of shredding. I'm not happy about that. He still has to go through with checks from 1955, which is ridiculous, which I keep telling him he doesn't need to keep them. But at the end of the day, I don't know. Uh, I'm just, again, I'm, I'm over it. 
uh, he's um, he's just set in his ways and is what it is. And we're all going to have to just learn to get along, as they say. But we have broken the news to him that we are going to be trading his car in for a golf cart. <laughs> We're not going to let him drive it. Not that he needs to, because with Rob and I around, we can drive him. We're, Rob will do all the cooking and the shopping, so there's no really need for him. And if he has to go to a doctor, we'll take him to the doctor because he can't hear well anyway. So it's it's all good. Um, he's just got to learn to be um, a little more reliable on us. I'm on the whatnot hamster wheel. We know, Don. I talked about it. Where were you? <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that's the story there. Um, other things happening. I have the new, new homeowner for this house coming over this afternoon. We, I, I did sell it, um, privately, which was good, uh, word of mouth. So they're coming over to sign an intent to buy and, um, we'll be closing on April 7th here. So it's all going to kind of go. Oh, no, I'm college, April 7th, April 8th, no, April 8th. And then, um, you know, it's all going to just come to fruition by then. Uh, so my house will be sold, dad's house will be sold, and we'll be in the new home by midweek, I guess, of that week. Dad's not going to come here right away, though. We're going we're gonna to put him up at my brother's, which is like a block away from where my, my father lives now. Um, so that we can do some painting and change his bathroom. Oh, that's what I was mentioning. Um, what happened to his license? Nothing. We're going to let him keep his, I shouldn't say take his license away. We're just going to, we're, we're going to take his car away and trade it in for a golf cart. Um, but we are going to, when he comes, we'll obviously change his license over to South Carolina. You need it for identificational purposes anyway, but we're just, there's no reason for him to drive really. He's going to be 86 this year. He can drive the golf cart up. We're four houses from the clubhouse and he can fish there. He can swim there. He can, um, there's all kinds of clubs. He's into model railroads. So there's a model railroad train club. Uh, he likes to play poker. The guys play poker up there. Um, so we just want to get him. Yes. We were there for 10 days. We packed him up. Um, and, um, he's looking like he's in pretty good shape. The, the worst thing is, is that if he doesn't downsize a little bit more, there may not be any room on the moving truck for our stuff. And we're just begging him to please purge some more. So hopefully my brother and my son and my daughter-in-law are helping with that. Um, and what else, you know, that's really it. We have to change his bathroom because his bathroom in this house, the newer tubs today, they're higher than what we grew up in. So he can't, I don't want him stepping over that. God forbid he slips and falls or I, I don't need any of that. I mean, it can happen as it is, but we want to put the walk-in shower in with the grab bars and all of that. So that's the plan not to move him into the house immediately when we close. That's why he'll stay with my brother for a little bit. Um, 86 is the new 56. God, I hope so. <laughs> you amount the God's ears. <laughs> yes, yes. First day back was gone. First day back gone. Sold for my price. All good. So yeah. So it's um, it it it's everything is going, you know, as planned. We've really packed up here. We've done really well with downsizing and purging as much as we could here. I mean, it's still going to be tight though because you know we're talking about two homes into one. No matter how you slice it up. So we'll figure it out. It'll, it'll all come, it'll all come to fruition. Um, but yeah, I, and I just wanted to give you guys an update on, you know, kind of the auction scene, the whatnot scene, what was going on. Um, yes, we talked about you, Donna, while you weren't here. All good. Um, but yeah, um, I'll be on at two 30 with my records. I think Donna's on at eight tonight. Um, so if you guys are over on whatnot, follow us over there. Um, I will be doing some auctions on and off when I get back here on YouTube, um, into the swing of things, probably mid to end of April. Um, and then, um, you know, maybe only once a month or once every two months. I, I don't know. I, you know, I really haven't completely wrapped my head around exactly how I'm going to run the business because, uh, I don't want to rent a store again. The overhead was just too much too much stress and, and just too much of ever nonsense, so to speak, you know, it's another mortgage payment when you look at it and, uh, just, 
things that I, I don't want to. Thanks, honey. Thank you. Um, and, you know, that's it. Just, you know, follow me wherever you can, here or on whatnot. I, um, I do have the Team T Academy. I haven't done much on that channel either. But I am still doing the emails if you guys want to sign up for that. I do them every weekday. Um, I'm over on Instagram. If you guys want to follow me over there. Um, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> She's on the 12th now. Okay. No worries. All right. Um, and then um, what else? The... Um, Oh, the murder show. So I'm really going to kick that into to higher gear once I get settled. Because those are, those are interesting and a lot of people like that stuff. I'm not even going to change the channel. I had Donna for years tried to convince me just to go to my name. I may just change. I, originally, I had changed this channel just to for you so that we could do everything for you, like including like the Rob cooking, which Rob's over there cooking St. Patrick's dinner right now. Um, but... You know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I, I just, I can't predict one day to the next these days. So it's kind of hard. And, and I feel bad for you guys when I push things out and change things up. And I did that with, um, I definitely did that with the, um, with the murder mystery stuff. But I am going to do that one. I think I have it up for next Monday. I think it's up for next Monday. And I will, I will stay with that one. Um, that one's an interesting one with it. it goes with i had rob's cooking last year on saint patrick's day that's right gail was here last saint patrick's day i forgot about that <laughs> that's right that's right yeah gail helped me out last year when rob and i were traveling and um she she came and worked the business and stayed and you know that's even the other thing with ebay like i've kind of lost hope with that um All right, let me, I have to answer that. So I'll be there at 6 p.m. for dinner. Well, you might make it if you left now. Uh, now you might be a little late. I think it's 10 hours. Not sure. You'll have to calculate that. Who's Donna? Donna. She, she says she'll be here at 6. I don't know if she'll make 6. <laughs> and Gail's like, pick me up on your way. So I think it's 10 hours, but just saying. you got to leave, like, quickly. But, um. Let's go. And then uh, stay tuned for May. Hmm. I don't know. Are we sharing information about that one, Donna? I don't know. Anyway, um, my arrival is 5.50 p.m. What are, you, are you flying in, Pam? Is that the plan? Because <laughs> that's the only way you're getting here at 5.50 from Connecticut. <laughs> you get a <laughs> Rob's got to go get a bigger piece of corned beef, he said. Um, but yeah, so again, just a reminder, I'm doing records at two 30 on whatnot. Um, I think I have a whatnot set up for tomorrow for storage unit finds. I'm not doing that one yet. I'm pushing it out again. I'm really waiting on that until I like, purge, uh, some more stuff that a couple of you want. And then, and then I will do it. Yeah. 11 hours. Yeah. I had a feeling. And um, jewelry, I didn't put it up yet. I'm doing jewelry, I think, Thursday again. Thank you, guys, for everyone who came into my last jewelry show on Thursday, last Thursday. Thank you. Successful. Appreciate it. So some more of my mother, some more of my aunt stuff um, coming on that one. And uh, I got to, I got to, this is just the buyer of my house who was supposed to come to just can't make it at 12. Thank you. Okay. So she can't come at 12. I had told her um, 12. Patrick, what's going on, my friends? Hi, honey. And follow Pat D's also on Whatnot. He's over there as well. So make sure you're following everybody both here and on Whatnot. Pat, I'm not sure if you're going on today. But again, 2.30. I am doing records if you guys... Um, one and then um thursday probably around the same time maybe five five thirty i don't know we'll see 
I, I haven't put the live up yet. I just got to check my schedule for the week because I know we have two doctors and I've got a, a bunch of stuff going on. I'm doing some shows on whatnot this week. Also, awesome, Pam. Let me know. Let me know, sweetheart. Um, well, and guys, don't forget, you guys still have the auctions for you page on YouTube. If you want to share your uh, lives out on there, whether it's YouTube or um, whatnot, please feel free to do that. Um, oh, well, sorry, Pat. I'm going on at 2.30 with my record. So, <laughs> um, but we will, um, we will definitely, um, try to get on five o'clock on Thursday. I think that'll be the plan. And then just, um, share your stuff in my auctions for you. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if anybody needs any inventory or wants a mystery box too, I'm still will, I still can do them. I still have inventory, um, but it's going to be close and I can do a, uh, 17, 13, 13. It's a small U-Haul box, um, of clothes for like a hundred shift. If anybody wants that, um, just let me know. Um, no, I am not Donna. I actually gained weight. I have been really bad. I have been on a carb kick since, um, Thanksgiving. Well, Thanksgiving, Rob landed up in Baltimore hospital and we spent Thanksgiving, um, in Baltimore, Maryland on our way to work, on our way to New York. And, um, that was not good. So we spent the whole week there and then just landed up coming back. And ever since then, I've just been on this terrible carb kick. Um, lots of bread, lots of alcohol, not good, not good, not good. And I'm not going to even think about doing anything until the move because <laughs> I'm stressed as it is. <laughs> so, but whatever it is, what it is. Um, we just, you know, at the end of the day, I just, I will get there. I just, you know, completely have lost my mojo when it comes to that. We will get back on track. That's all. <laughs> anyway, there was something else that I wanted to mention to you guys, and I completely forgot it. So, yeah, if anybody wants a closed reseller box, I can do those. Uh, if anybody has stuff with me here this week, definitely the rest of all of the invoices will go out. Thanks, honey. Um, for whatever's sitting here, because I have to purge it at this point. I can't move it. I'm not taking it with me. It's either got to go to you guys or I've got to put it in a mystery box for somebody else. I can still do mystery boxes as well without clothes, but not, not a lot, you know, maybe one or two, no, nothing crazy. The, um, what else? I'm trying to think what else. I think, I think that was it with reseller stuff. I've been trying to do some local stuff on the Facebook marketplace for the larger stuff. As you guys know, I have so much artwork. So I've been listing that stuff there. I just can't stand the scams. The scams are just ridiculous. Every, every time I turn around, it's like, send me your phone number or crickets when, you know, or the, is this still available? BS. Sorry. <laughs> Those of you that don't know Facebook marketplace, it gets stupid like that. Um, and then, We'll do the uh, next Monday night. I'm just going to double check that. I think I put it for next Monday night. I'm almost positive I did for the murder mystery show. And I know some of you are waiting for that one for sure. Let me just look. Yeah, 325. So yes, next Monday at 7. Next Monday at 7 p.m. We'll do that one. And I, I'm, I'm not going to change that one. That one I'm definitely going to do it for you. Donna's like, I hate. Um, I'm actually working. So that's the other thing. I've been actually working, guys. I've been just trying to earn bucks any way I can. So um, I've been just uh, doing some grocery delivery and DoorDash and Uber Eats and all that fun stuff. So I'm actually, I'm actually working from time today, 
four to eight, I think I signed up for. So just FYI, <laughs> no, 430, because I'm doing my record show at 230. So I gave myself two hours and then I'm, I'm going to go out and do some door dashing. I had an eBay <laughs> message me to pay with a money order this morning. He had 2,500 completed version. These people are ridiculous. So, so crazy. When's our next dinner date? I don't know. Pat and his wife were here. Pat, Pat's wife had to um, coach a local subway. Well, it wasn't local. It was in Georgetown, which is a little bit of a drive from us. We met halfway in Myrtle. So it's like 20. It was, it, it's probably about 50 minutes from here to Georgetown to up to an hour. Um, but yeah. And that's what we, um, that's what we did. Hi, Penny. How are you, sweetheart? Nice to see you. All right, Donna, sweetheart. See you soon. I'll call you during the week. All right, babe. Take care. Um, so yeah, at the end of the day, it's just, um, got to try to do what I got to do. So right now that's what I'm doing. I'm just packing, shipping, packing the house. I was packing my dad, uh, doing a little bit of stuff that I don't have to. And one of the reasons I decided to do like DoorDash and Uber Eats and Uber and all that stuff is because for right now, I can't buy any inventory. I don't want to sell any inventory. I just want to get rid of what I have. Um, because you know, the auctions take time, the shipping takes time, the records I didn't want to have to take with me. So I'm trying to get rid of the rest of those. I have about five DJ crates left, which is probably a little over 500 records. So I'm going to do a show this afternoon at two 30, probably again next Sunday as well. And I'm trying to keep it at Sundays at 2.30 when I can so that I can get rid of those. And I have some loyal customers that follow me over on the records, which is nice. So that's that's the plan for the next couple of days. And if um, if you guys um, want to come in and watch that, I'm, I'm actually T auctions for you over there, just the letter T and auctions for you. I had auctions for you. It's a whole big story with that. That got completely messed up too. And I think I have two accounts over there, but one of the, this is the one I sell on. And as far as my YouTube channel is concerned here, I'm not going away. I think people misunderstood the message that was in the closing up the business, the business I meant the store. And I think they thought I was leaving permanently YouTube. I'm not, I'm just going to change the direction of which this YouTube channel is going to go. Uh, I may still stick to the coffee and tea once a week, maybe uh, have a guest on or talk more about reselling and other things, maybe just life even. I do still have my Team T Academy channel and my website, and I'm still sending emails out there on a weekly basis. I uh, do that Monday through Friday every morning. It's in your inbox. It's just a money and motivational type of thing for entrepreneurs and for personal, uh, just to keep you guys motivated. If you guys want to join that email list, you can go over to uh, teamtacademy.com and sign up for that. And you'll get put on that list and you just Monday through Friday, get a, an email from me just to keep you motivated for the week. And uh, I had a show last night and sold a bunch of stuff. Awesome. Awesome. Sounds great. Congrats. Pat's picking up his whatnot over there doing well. Appreciate it. And listen, um, I'm not giving up my YouTube selling either. I, I just, I'm going to cut it back. I'm just not going to do it as often as I did it before. It might just be a show once a month. I can't keep the inventory I used to have. So, you know, maybe I buy one storage unit and sell all that. And then, uh, after, um, after I purge that stuff, I buy another one and do another auction or something like that. I mean, I haven't laid out a business plan yet of what, what it's actually going to look like moving forward, but I will. And I'm going to keep up the murder kind of shows uh, probably once a month 
if, if it gets more popular, maybe more, uh, maybe we'll add some other stuff to the channel. I haven't really decided yet. I really have to think of, think of hard and long about what kind of the next step is going to look like. And, but I don't want you guys to think I'm going away. I'm not, I'm just not, I, you know, I love it here. I love the friends and family that I've met here and made um, a lot of relationships with everybody. So I'm not giving it up completely. Thank you, Pam. Thank you, honey. Thank you for signing up. Someone just signed up. I heard it. I heard it ding. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. And I get nothing from it. It's just, I get satisfaction that people like, like, like my content. That's all. Um, thank you. Thank you. So yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, and then, uh, you know, we'll see what else happens. Pam helped me do that. Flippin' Hot Finds, thank you again. She helped me design the website. I haven't done a lot with the website. I haven't done a lot with the content as far as live. I have a few over here on YouTube under the Team T Academy, some uh, podcasts that I started may continue that as well, may merge the two channels. I don't know. I have to see what's the thing. I've got everything in half price on my eBay store, selling out of what I've listed, figuring out if mom and dad will both move in over here or if it would just be my mom and my dad's gotten a lot weaker. Oh, I'm sorry, Mama Beth. Real beauty. What's up, Rachel? Good morning. Good morning. Hi, sweetheart. Good to see you. Follow Rachel, guys. She does auctions on here as well. Um, so follow her over on YouTube. So yeah, that's uh, kind of what's going on. And uh, that's really it. Um, we'll, we'll figure it out. And, and I just gotta, I just gotta, I just gotta get myself back and settled in the new house and get a system down, get a, a routine. I guess that's the word I'm looking for routine of what's going to happen. And um, if you guys have any suggestions or you guys want to see something specific, you know, let me know. I even kind of backed off on my what soul videos, which I don't like to do because I still am active over on eBay, even though I haven't listed anything this month, which is not good because that has slowed my algor algorithm down completely. But I'm not going to either before we move because we're going to land up probably either putting the store on vacation mode or uh, taking everything down and selling similar once we get back to the new house, which again is going to be completely downsized. Like already, I think Rob and I each had about a thousand or two thousand items each on eBay. And right now, I think we're down to 500 each, and that might even go lower. Uh, we may even change the structure of that as well. Because again, we won't have the the room for the inventory. We've definitely decided we're going to do more ephemera. Uh, well, whether it be postcards, advertising trade cards. We have some vintage first class airline menus we've been putting up. Excuse me. And um, some just some smaller items like comics and just ephemera, paper, news, news articles. I had from Brian, he had some of those, uh, I can't remember what they're called. I bought some from him there. Oh gosh, I'm a mental block right now, what, what they're called. But you know, this way we can just have a couple of file cabinets and that'll be it. Hi, Connie. How are you, sweetheart? Connie, I did see your message. Guys, Connie's going to be doing some auctions as well. Um, follow Connie's books and things here. And, uh, you guys, you, Rachel and Connie, you guys should get together. Maybe you guys can do a collab together. Um, because I know Connie wants to, wants to do some auctions as well. Um, and you know, again, I'll, I'll, I'll be back where you guys can come on as guests in the near future. I just, for right now, until, until the next month goes by and we get settled yeah, I'm not going away on eBay. I'll be back. Right, Mama Beth? Yeah. It's not like we leave. I, I've, I've done this my whole life where I've kind of taken a break, even from YouTube. I mean, this is my fifth, maybe sixth YouTube channel. I have um, definitely um, started channels, continued channels. I mean, we had the cooking channel. 
We had the vlog channel. I had um, the My Great Find For You channel. So I, I, that's one reason as well that I really don't want to give this specific channel up because I have such a loyal fan base here. But I don't want to change my content so drastically that you guys don't follow me and it's silly to have 5,000 subscribers if 4,000 of you guys aren't going to follow me. Maybe I start a different channel. So that's that's a concern for me as well. You know, now that with the Team T channel, it does it it becomes a lot when you have to try to manage all of it. And then you're talking about doing auctions besides and doing what not besides and doing eBay besides. And then I send out the daily emails and want to do a podcast and that gets a little crazy. And now coffee. So, oh, nice two nine. Oh, awesome. I was just mentioning Rachel before you came. I, I just did a jewelry show on whatnot this week. Cause I finally got the rest of all my aunts and my mom's jewelry. So I, I'm going to do another one on Thursday over on whatnot this week as well. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, that's, um, that's where we stand right now, guys. And I do appreciate everyone popping in and stopping by and we will see you at two 30 today. If you want to come over and buy records on whatnot, or just come over and support, you know, just say hi. And then, uh, we'll do Thursday. We'll probably do the jewelry on whatnot. And then the following Monday, I'll do the murder mystery. I'm not, I told, I, <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I'm not changing that. I'm doing that show this Thursday, this month, this coming, a week from this Monday. I'm not going to change the date again. I want to get through number two so we can get on to number three. And then uh, probably after that, though, that'll be a week before we move. So it'll be very late that week. I'll try to do um, another coffee uh, show just to chit chat and good morning, Craigie. What's up? Good morning. Good morning. Lynn shark picker. Thank you, destiny. You too, sweetheart. Good to see you and Tommy and good to see everybody and stay tuned. More exciting stuff to come from tea. We'll see you soon. Have a great day guys.